Well, I'm in the men's shed and I'm working on another sluice design. Uh, well, sluice box design. Actually, no, a completely new sluice. And for that, I need to make a new flare. Which just got me thinking, what is the proper angle for a flare? And this is not something I've thought about. And it, often with things like this, I think they're thinking, well, what's, what's going on here? What's, the, what's happening? What's, a, what's the job of a flare? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't thought it through, and it's like this is a, this is a situation that I've been in with this whole prospecting gig and applying fluid dynamics to it. Is that okay? I I know how to size and design various components for the aquaculture industry because you know I've done that a lot. But when it comes to prospecting, it's a different application, and because I haven't thought about flares and what they're supposed to do, I haven't thought about what would be the ideal angle or if there is an ideal angle so before I think about it I thought I might just do this quick video do a throw it up and see if we have a discussion and see what people come back with and then I'll uh, go through the, the theories that are involved and I'll let you guys know in the, the follow-up video to this whether there is an ideal angle or maybe the ideal angle is more about the practicalities or something. And thinking, just thinking through this now, I'm starting to think that actually, I think I know the answer, but I've got to think about it a lot more. So, I'm very interested in your thoughts. Talk soon. Bye-bye.